All right, D. Rowe and Bill, I know you guys looked at a couple of games. Bill, I texted you, yeah, you uh, during the course of that Astros-Red Sox game because I wanted you to dive in on some of the things that the Red Sox were doing or not doing in the field during the course of that game. I think in some of these cases, and, and I know we like to point out certain things, but we also we call them teaching moments. Teaching moments. Because these are things when we're playing youth baseball and we're trying to come up the ladder, if we do a couple things really well, it lets us keep playing, especially when we don't have all the talent in the world. We have to do certain things right in order to get things done. I got to the big leagues being able to do certain things right, and I hung on for probably three more years than I should have because I could do certain things right. Let, let's jump into some of these because I think I'm hoping this is the order, and I really like this look, by the it's way. A good right, look. We nice. came up with some good stuff. Is this right lucky? But, but let's look at this right now and, and look at the first play that happened in the Houston game with the butt that was happening right here. So for, freeze it for me for a minute because I want to point something out here, d Row, that jumped out at me because Capalbo sent this to me. There's one out. Yeah. There's first and second one out. There's no way Dusty Baker's putting on this. No chance. Butt, right? Even though he's hitting a buck 79. But see, but that's what I think he did right here because this dude can put the ball down. Houck's on the mound throwing sankers. I know. He might be thinking to himself, if I hit a ground ball, it's a, it's a two It's ball. a double play, and we're out. And I can move these two guys up with a sack bunt. Flip the line. I wouldn't want it done, you know, to, to give away an out, to go two outs in second and third. But it all worked out. So play this thing forward, and there's an awful lot more to unwrap as this thing happens. There's the bunt. First of all, this is a nice backhand counter by the catcher. <laughs> but then nobody covers home plate, and there goes Dubon. So when you look at this D-Row, the first thing that has to happen is when the catcher calls this off, he's got to come home. You have to. And I, I know it, it's tough because you Hauk's get caught defense, up. In Hauk's defense, this is the problem, like brain cramps, whatever. He thinks that ball's going to roll foul. 1,001, 1,000. Nine out of ten pitchers would have probably reacted the same the way. way Hauk reacted. I got you. But here's another thing. So I I'm wonder. not going to so kill freeze, him freeze for, for me, Lucas, please. Because this is an awesome bunt. So I guarantee he did this by himself. Yep. Because you can tell no one is thinking about a bunt, right? No one is thinking about a bunt. So go ahead and play this. Because lastly, when all this stuff goes wrong, I got guilty here because now you're letting this guy go to third base and you're just putting your hands on your head. And, and I you're going, oh my God. <laughs> Hold on, bring that back real Come quick. On. Because I want to give love. I, I want to give a he might have been a smidge late, but you have to give a little love to Devers here. You do. Yeah. Okay? Run this. Because he senses no one's covering home. And if a perfect throw is made now. like Aaron Rodgers is about to do for the Jets this year, you might have a chance. <laughs> but Mauricio Dubon, unbelievable job. It wasn't like the third base coach was wheeling him. No. He saw it. And he, and he saw Devers where he was. It's a teaching moment we can work on in spring training next year in Fort I've Myers. I've said this out here when we do this before. Yeah. If you can play catch. You can get outs. In the you league. can get outs in the big leagues because teams will run into outs. The big man right here, Aaron Judge, does a great job point A to point B backhand. This is then nice. he's almost like surprised. He goes, is he really doing this? Because when you really look at Aaron Judge slow this thing down, he tells himself right here, if I play catch, he's out. Watch him. No panics. And he just throws a strike, and we get the out at second. I'd like base. Anthony Volpe to hold the bag instead of going to get instead the Instead of going to get it? I mean, I, I would think like defense, that. In his defense right there, he didn't want to short up. I got it. So he goes, I'm going to go pick this thing out of the air. This thing right here is beautiful because when you watch this thing, everybody's in the right spot. And I love watching what Aaron Judge did right here. And I think this is one of the best things that we can get is this high nine. Now, the next one right here. Mm. Are you, you coming up thinking second base right here? Originally, yes. Brother. I was on the desk last night with Harold Nadnan, and I said, okay, he's throwing to the wrong oh. base. He's going to give up a base. Yeah. And I said, okay, did he get out of the box lazy? But he didn't. So the idea is not only do you play catch and you get out, if you play catch twice, and he actually short hopped him. So when I when we do this high nine right here, D. Rowe, I want to give some play and some love, as you said with Devers. Watch the big man out there in right field. Watch Aaron Judge back up second. Thank you. That's why you give someone like Aaron Judge the years and the money. 
because you know what you're Go doing. back to that real quick for me. Dip, pause it. I want to focus because I want your I want your opinion on what Volpe's doing. Yes, how sir. he sets up. Normally, most guys are set up as a right-handed, obviously shortstop, mm -hmm. to get it to, to turn spin this the way. glove side. He kind of positions himself so he can see if this runner. He knows that third base is already happening. Run this. All right, good biscuit right here. I like this. I wonder if he does this by design. He actually sets up to give himself a chance to get to second super quick. So maybe to kind open of, up in there. Freeze it, please. Kind of an interesting move. If you brought it all the way back, you see it perfectly. Keep going. Keep going. Right there. Right there. Run this. As soon as he catches it, pause it. Look at how he's set up. Yeah, he is set up because typically it's easier to turn like glove this. side. And typically glove it's easier side. to turn glove side. I'm calling Booney. All right, call him. But anyway, Find it's a good biscuit. About. Out recorded. So that's the second outfield assist that the Yankees have. Oh, and by the way, the Yankees had three outfield assists and they still lose. Mm. That's not necessarily yeah. copacetic. And Judge is on a bad toe on an eight-game losing streak. <laughs> they can't score a run. And he's and running my six in your back. Seven up. monsters backing up. So you know and what? He Yankees, goes like this. Nobody can have an excuse. And he goes like this. So this one right here, just for humor purposes, D-Roll, we had to put in there. What's happening here? Well, because you didn't catch it, and then you flip it up to yourself like you caught yeah, it. Yeah, you got to come sit next to me for a minute. <laughs> I'm telling you. You got lucky getting him out. Look. But once again, if you execute a simple game of catch, for some reason in, in baseball nowadays, d -Row, I think these base runners are all thinking they're wearing like a cloaking device and you can't see me. Oh. Everything's in front of you. If you yeah. execute play catch in the game, you can get outs at the big league level because people will treat this like nine-year-old baseball and run until someone tags you out. Done. Labor didn't even know he was showing up there. All right, so here's a good fundamental last night, too. This is a how-to for sure. Double play ball that Bohm hits into. You like this. Oh, yeah, there's a couple things really to like about this. So the first thing is sometimes we don't always catch the ball. When we show this replay, I want to really show you something. Freeze! Go back to that right when he's picking that ball up. You're big on slow that. down, slow down, slow down, click. Look at him bury his hand on that ball. Yeah, yeah. I'm picking it up the first time. Then the next thing that happens that's really good, even though we're not allowed to crush anybody at second base anymore, his throw to the back part of the bag was beautiful. Keep that frozen for me right there, Lucas, for a minute. So the point is when you pick it up the first time, I can still hear my father yelling on any field at any time. Pick the ball up the first time and you got a chance. If you don't, you ain't got, and he would say it. Look where he is when he's picking it up barehanded. This is the runner in question. He's got about 85 more feet to yes. run to first base. So if you simply pick it up, play catch and play catch, it's going to be a double play. Play that. And watch where this throw goes to the back part of the bag, which allows the freedom mm. just to be able to turn that nicely. That's an awesome I awesome can sit play. there and watch good second basemen's turn a double play all So day. now here's the how not to. And I'm going to point out a few things right here because this should be a double play ball to get you out of an inning. Hey. So what I like about this. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah. What I don't Throw like. the ball. <laughs> Throw it. Through my chest. Bang. Give me a chance. PFPs. Till we vomit. I'm telling you, pitchers have to be able to field their position. You watch guys like Dallas Keuchel, man, it makes me smile sitting on the couch. Lucas, I need you to rack all the way back to the very first one when he's going to throw the pitch. Can't I want throw you to the base. I want you to freeze it when he's throwing the pitch. Keep going. Okay. Watch this. Go click, click, click for me, Lucas. Watch this foot go down pointing towards home plate. So here's what a pitcher throws a baseball. Right? We know we're, we're going towards home plate. This is straight line, right, to home plate. Yeah. All right. So now get to the point where he's going to catch it and he's going to throw the story. Slow it down a little bit because I want to show you where this foot's pointing. It's more pointing like I'm going to throw it to the umpire because he doesn't take the time to set his feet. So watch him crossfire because the throw's not horrible, horrible, horrible. 
it, you know, toward Story right here. But Story's coming in in a way presenting so well that when his step is over here and he crossfires and yanks it, he really can't get a good read on where this throw is going. And what did they tell you as an infielder? Assume. Assume it's going to be a bad throw. But Assume watch where his foot throw. goes. Just click, click for me, Lucas. His foot was way over there. And he's crossfiring. Watch where that left foot goes. Click, click for me. Look at that. Oh, my. That's not how he throws the home plate. It's like a no-look Pat Mahomes. Yes. And that's why a throw that's not so bad gets misread sometimes at second base. So when we show that overhead again, once again, when I was doing the double play to the Phillies game and how well that was executed, when we show Tucker coming up where he is in the batter's box, when the pitcher catches the ball from our high uh, home shot, you'll see that if he just, oh, we don't even have that. If you just play catch twice, Double play. if the pitcher catches the ball, where's Tucker? It's a one hopper oh. right back to the pitcher. He's barely gotten out of the box. He's like here. <laughs> <laughs> we got to play catch twice to get him before he runs 90 and feet. And he just got jam sandwiched. He's not fighting down the line. <laughs> set your feet, Robert. It's like Robert, set your set feet. Set your feet, Robert. PFPs, uh, PFPs, PFPs. Yeah, the, the Astros scored four runs in that seventh inning, part of which you just showed. They only got one hit. In that inning, ouch! Uh, it was a it was a rough defensive. You don't win games like that. Like, no, nope. and they did not. They committed three errors, but they're back at it in Houston tonight, taking on the Astros on MLB Network. On MLB Network, Your company man. Our showcase game. <laughs>